Welcome to Thoughts of the Day, Daily Devotions with Youth with a Mission. Hey everyone, it's good to see you. I actually, I can't see you, so hopefully it's good to see me. Um, welcome to Holy Week. It's, I think this is going up on Tuesday, which means Palm Sunday was a couple of days ago, um, and that kicked off for many Christians around the world, um, Holy Week, which is a time where we make space to reflect on Jesus' life and his death and his, spoiler alert, resurrection. Um, yeah, I think it's really, I love the church calendar. I love that we have these milestones in the year to really make space and remember the big story that we're a part of. Um, and I've been thinking a, a bit about rhythms lately because of coronavirus um, and just the way that it's thrown off so many of our rhythms. And, you know, you see um, people posting on Facebook all the time, like, what day is it? What time is it? Um, and actually, sometimes I don't know the answer to that. Um, but experts say that it's actually really important to establish rhythms in your life and in your day. Um, and that, especially in times of chaos, kind of helps keep you on track. And they also say, don't cut your own hair. And I did that, and I will have to concur with experts. Um, anyway, so as <clears throat> I think about rhythms, one of the things that I've really appreciated is some of the built-in rhythms that are already happening around me because it can be, yeah, just really difficult in times of chaos and fear and worry um, to kind of come up with your own thing. But there are things that are already happening. I don't know if you have noticed, but there are leaves kind of springing out on trees and there are flowers poking out of the ground and spring the rhythm of spring, the rhythm of seasons <clears throat> is going on. And the church calendar has been set for years and years. That feels like an understatement, but whatever, we'll go with it. Um, and yeah, we have these set times of the year where we remember this story that we're a part of. And I really love in Matthew 11, um, Jesus says, come to me, all of you who are tired and weary. And hopefully you're familiar with that passage. Um, but in the message, there is a verse that's translated, come learn the unforced rhythms of grace. And yeah, I just love that concept of rhythm that actually it's not that we have to come up with something and make it happen and stick to something or else everything's going to fall apart. But there's already things that we are a part of and that we get to join in with. Um, yeah, and this week, one of those things is remembering and making space to really contemplate and meditate on Jesus' life and his teachings and his death and what he did and his incredible love for us and that, and his resurrection, because he is powerful and he has triumphed over the grave. Um, and that is part of our story. And so, yeah, I just want to invite you to join in with that unforced rhythm of grace. Grace.